The Solar Star is the biggest solar plant in the U.S., sitting in Kern, California. It's over eight square miles and can generate 579 megawatts. That's enough to power around 255,000 homes. Pretty impressive, but about 6,500 miles away, in China's Kubuki Desert, there's a solar facility that's set to dwarf Solar Star and nearly every other solar plant on Earth. The Kabuki Desert gets about 280 days of sunshine a year and has steady winds, making it a tough place to live but perfect for solar and wind power. That's why China is building the Kabuki Renewables Base here. It's about the size of 20 central parks, and once fully operational, it'll supply 16 gigawatts of power to over a million homes. But Kabuki is just one part of a massive network. China's building around 225 similar bases across its western and northern deserts. Together, these projects will have a capacity of 455 gigawatts, with 60% coming from solar and 40% from wind. To give you an idea of how much that is, it's more clean energy than any country outside of China currently generates. This system could almost cover India's energy needs by itself. That 455 gigawatts is equal to the combined green energy generation of the UK, Australia, and Indonesia, plus all the power that Brazil produces. China also holds the largest share of solar power capacity in the world, adding about 40 gigawatts in 2020 alone, bringing its total installed solar capacity to 240 gigawatts. This is a five-fold increase since 2015, and it could double again in the next five years, according to the China Photovoltaic Industry Association. Here are the largest solar power plants in China. Xinjiang Solar Farm, this 3.5 gigawatt, 32,947-acre solar farm is located in the desert area of Urumqi, the capital of Xinjiang. It went online recently and is expected to generate about 6 billion kilowatt hours of electricity each year. That's enough to power Papua New Guinea for an entire year. Golmud Solar Park Situated near Golmud City in Qinghai Province, this 138 megawatt concentrator photovoltaics power station is the largest operating CPV facility in the world. Built in two phases, starting in 2012 by Suncor Photovoltaics, it sits at an elevation of about 2,800 meters on the Tibetan Plateau near the Gobi Desert, alongside several other conventional photovoltaic power stations. Tengger Desert Solar Park Located in Ningxia, the Tengger Desert Solar Park is the second largest solar power plant in China and the fifth biggest in the world. This one and a half gigawatt facility, often called the Great Wall of Solar, covers 1,200 kilometers of the 36,000 kilometer Tengger Desert. Brought online in 2017, it's owned by the China National Grid and Shangwei Power Supply Company and provides clean energy to more than 600,000 homes. The Tong Solar Power Top Runner Base. Located in the Tong City, Shangxi Province, this facility is currently the third largest solar power plant in China. It forms part of the National Energy Administration's plan to boost solar projects in the region. The plant has a capacity of about 1 gigawatt following the completion of its first phase in 2016. Once all phases are done, the Tong is expected to become the largest solar site globally, with an installed capacity of 3 gigawatts. The development involves several companies, including Datong United Photovoltaics New Energy, Datong Coal Mine Group, and Jinko Solar Holding, among others. Jinchuan Solar Park The Jingcheng Jintai Solar PV Park, located in Gansu, China, has a capacity of 200 megawatts. The project, tracked by Global Data, became operational in 2013 and was developed in a single phase. Yanshi Ninsha Solar Park Situated in the Yanxi district of Ninsha, this solar park is the fourth biggest in China, with an installed capacity of 1 gigawatt. When it came online in September 2016, it was considered the world's biggest continuous solar PV array. The plant operates through the Fusion Solar Smart O&M Cloud Center, which uses cloud computing and big data for efficient management. It has an estimated lifespan of 25 years. These solar bases, along with others set to come online soon, position China to potentially surpass the world's current power supply. How and why is this possible? You probably know that deserts are perfect for renewable energy generation. 
you can't have a solar farm without sun, and, and deserts, well, they've got plenty of it. Likewise, wind farms need wind, and the broad, warm, flat expanses of the desert provide reliable wind currents and predictable power generations. But I gotta admit, I haven't shown you any pictures of the Kabuki Desert. Instead, I've shown images from the Ulaanbaatar, Tengger, and Badangeran deserts, all of which are also in China. Over a fifth of China's landmass is desert, making it one of the biggest countries in the world with ample room to work with. Deserts aren't exactly prime real estate, so China's taken advantage of this cheap land and abundance of sand to build these massive renewable energy bases. This approach helps reduce the cost of solar and wind power. China's vast resources and space allow for the construction of big, affordable solar and wind energy facilities. But there's another key factor in play. Back in the 90s, China saw a financial opportunity in meeting Germany's growing demand for solar panels. With nearby raw materials and a well-structured supply chain, China produced a large number of affordable solar panels. This led to tension with other solar companies worldwide who didn't appreciate the government subsidies and incentives China used. In response, many countries imposed tariffs on Chinese-made solar panels in the 2000s. However, China adapted by expanding its own domestic renewables program. This increased domestic demand for solar panels and turbines. As China's economic and industrial power grew, so did the demand for renewable energy. This synergy between economic growth and renewable energy development has positioned China as a global leader in the green energy sector. China's ability to build massive renewable energy bases comes down to a few key factors cheap access to green technology, immense manufacturing power, and vast amounts of land that are perfect for solar and wind generation. However, the how is not as interesting as the why behind China's rapid expansion in renewables. One big reason for China's push into renewable energy is reliability. In 2021, Beijing, one of the biggest cities in the world, faced a crippling blackout. This was not an isolated incident. A global coal shortage, partly due to the pandemic, left parts of China in the dark since over half the country's energy comes from coal. Droughts also meant hydroelectric plants struggled to meet demand. These blackouts were detrimental to both Chinese citizens and their economy. Pollution is another big factor. Beijing and other cities often experience thick, toxic smog due to the heavy reliance on fossil fuels to get power. China's massive industrial sector and population require loads of electricity, mostly coming from fossil fuels, leading to severe pollution. This is not the image a rising global power needs to project. China is also the world's second largest consumer of oil, burning over 13 million barrels a day in 2023 while producing only about 4 million. This reliance on imported oil, around 11.4 million barrels a day, is quite costly. Achieving energy independence would be hugely beneficial. In the near term, the renewable energy plants should lead to less polluted air, not just for China, but neighboring countries as well. If China keeps building these facilities and the tech keeps improving, there could be opportunities for these neighbors to buy surplus clean energy from China. Countries like Mongolia, which currently supply much of China's coal, are keenly aware of China's green transition and are exploring alternative ways to generate energy and income as coal demand declines. Mongolia, sharing the Gobi Desert with China, has similar potential for generating solar and wind energy. This presents an opportunity for China to export not just energy, but also expertise and materials for energy generation to its neighbors. Since 2013, China has been making economic and literal inroads globally, especially in the Global South, through its Belt and Road Initiative. This initiative is like a modern Silk Road, where China builds up countries' infrastructures in exchange for a favorable access to their natural resources. Under the BRI, China can potentially build green infrastructure in these countries too. Though the BRI is controversial, with some calling it a form of neo-colonialism, others, including the World Bank, note that it can raise a country's GDP and boost the world's economy. It offers these countries access to infrastructure development that might otherwise be unavailable. China is a rising global power, and it's unlikely they'll offer this energy or technology to their neighbors purely out of goodwill. There's going to be significant economic and political strings attached. Whether this trade-off is worth it for an improved infrastructure and access to green technology? Well, that's a complex issue. All of this assumes that what China's doing at home can be replicated elsewhere, which is not always the case. 
Even China faces serious challenges. Most of their renewable bases are in less populated desert regions in the west, while some of the biggest cities in the world are on the east coast. It's difficult to transport all that power from point A to B without losing a lot in the process. China is developing ultra-high voltage power lines to tackle this issue, but for now, they're generating more renewable energy than they can use, leading to curtailment. All the clean energy generation in the world does not mean too much if it's not actually replacing the fossil fuels. So there are lessons to learn here. The U.S. recently passed the Inflation Reduction Act, directing $500 billion in federal spending and tax breaks towards reducing inflation, with over half that going towards clean energy and nearly $50 billion towards manufacturing. Though no one can match China's manufacturing power, the U.S. isn't too far behind. The western and northern regions of the U.S. have deserts and grasslands that are ripe for solar and wind. There are already installations in many of these places, and the IRA seems to have learned from China's economic incentives. The hope is to go further and create fully-fledged clean energy bases. Having everything from mining resources to manufacturing solar panels, wind turbines, and batteries in the U.S. could drop costs and accelerate adoption, providing tremendous energy security. The Kabuki Clean Energy Base isn't just a futuristic concept or a pitch from an exciting startup. It's real, it's working right now, and it's getting bigger. With sibling bases coming online the next few years, China is essentially doubling the world's renewable generation capacity overnight. What's not to like? Well, it's not all good news. China's emission levels have continued to go up, and they're building coal plants to supplement the intermittent power of their renewable bases. After a post-COVID rebound in CO2 output during 2023, some estimates suggest China may have hit peak carbon, with numbers declining from 2024 onwards. However, building and permitting more coal plants feels like two steps forward and one step back. China already accounts for half the world's coal consumption, so it's concerning to see him constructing even more coal plants. Analysts warn of a brewing fight in China between renewables and fossil fuel stakeholders, a struggle seen worldwide. The hope is that renewables will win, and each of us can contribute to that effort in our own countries. We are committed to releasing two videos a week. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more visionary builds. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.